When it comes to wearing a binder, there are many different risks. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you peeps some binder safety checks of which you can use to make sure that your binder isn't hurting you. Play the two minutes transgender topic Thursday intro. Rise and shine real lights, welcome back to another video. Today, if you haven't already guessed by the title, I'm gonna be discussing some binder safety checks. And I should clarify right now that this video is intended for those within the trans community who are AFAB. And well, if you're not in that area and this kind of topic piques your interest, well, you're, you're welcome anyway. So with that being said, let's put two minutes on the clock. Let's talk about the three main things that you should note before wearing a binder. One, it is advised to wear a binder for no more than eight hours a day. And well, trust me, I know how much of a struggle that is to commit to. I understand the whole struggle of dysphoria, so I completely understand if you have to end up wearing it for more than eight hours. With that being said, number two, it is best that you don't sleep in a binder because of all the implications of which it can cause. As some of you may be aware, wearing a binder does come with some implications and that well leads us into number three. If you feel or experience any pain, take it off as soon as possible. I would hate for any of you peeps to get harmed in the process of binding. With that all being said and done, here is a simple little exercise of which you can do every single time you wear a binder to make sure that you don't injure yourself in any way. Following the guidance of which I'm about to say is not 100% guaranteed that you won't get injured, but at least it's just a safety check procedure of which you can do to try and prevent any accidents or issues. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is find a place to take a seat. You're gonna want to sit up straight and just wiggle your torso just a little bit. Following that, you're going to want to raise your arms to just a little bit above your shoulders. Following on from this, you're going to want to take a big breath and exhale quickly. <sighs> then you're going to want to do a big chesty cough from the chest. <laughs> Following on from the chesty cough, you're gonna wanna do a little baby cough from inside of your tummy. <laughs> and if you do experience any rubbing or pain while you're doing this exercise, make sure that you are to readjust or loosen your binder as required. And if you are to readjust your binder in any way, make sure to repeat this exercise so you do not feel any discomfort whatsoever. And with that being said, thank you ever so much for watching and remember as always to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you peeps in the next video. But before I do say goodbye, if you wanna see more videos like this and to support my channel, my Patreon is linked in the description down below. So please check it out and do whatever you wanna do with it. <laughs> and with that being said, goodbye. Bye. Waking up at sundown, the world's our playground, and we don't even have to pretend. Every time we're together, it doesn't get better, and every day's like a weekend, we just